with a good chance, and again, he's hit the bar, and a header there, that's it by Davis. And more teasing, and Bunton is past it for again, he does it as he likes, and a great ball forward to Davis, it must be. Bryceland with a nice victory, Davis, Davis with a chance, and he's Ball played to Davis, the centre forward. Davis with it now, turning it infield to Bryceland. Bryceland jinking again. A lovely through ball to Davis. Davis with a chance. He begins the A lovely goal by Davis. Left back Graham Williams gives Ron Davis a chance here. It's Davis that divides the other half to the goal. The rain falls down. Reese. Take the corner for Wales. No score. Quinn Davis, a goal, surely missed by Ron Davis. Quinn Davis has made it for him. Thompson to take the corner. Davis, a goal. And Ron Davis has done what we saw him do at Cardiff last week. After 28 minutes of the second half, number nine, Ron Davis, the Welsh international, has put Southampton in the lead. If you've got somebody who's a bit telepathic with you, uh, it's very easy to score goals, or makes it easier to score goals. Toward Davis, and on the goal, he's done it, Davis has done it this time. Ron Davis, the scorer. And a bad one, but it finds Fisher. Shannon, and a golden chance for Davis, and he doesn't miss them. What a lovely touch by Shannon. Derrick outside him. Looking for Ron Davis and Toshak. Ron Davis! Ron Davis! comes a crossover now and you watch the lovely way in which Ron Davis rises in the air beautifully not only gets it up there above everybody else but it guides it right over the top of Tommy Lawrence into the roof of the net a superb header corner to Wales Barry Jones to take it Win Davis, arm aloft, looking for a long floating centre. And Win Davis, a beautiful, beautiful goal there by Ron Davis. Superb goal, here it comes. Another beautiful header from him. There's Barry Jones as he whacks the ball over. Now just look at him rising in the air. His superb power meeting that ball, and it goes in like a bullet off the crossbar and into the back of the net. 3-3. Three, three. That was a slightly more powerful corner than usual. It wasn't a floater and it seemed to catch the Scottish defence out and Ron Davis got just that. Astle Harris from behind all the time by Burton. Now Barry Jones for Wales. Rodrigues up there again, Ron Davis looking for this one, getting in, and a goal! Ron Davis! Seventeen and a half minutes gone, and the threat that we all knew existed in practice put Wales ahead, Ron Davis. Payne behind him, coming up now. Good dummy run, gave Fisher the room on his other side. Sydenham. Good cross too, Davis. 1-1. One, one. Ron Davis, very pleased. Fisher congratulating him. Fisher has started the move. Sydenham. 
Three men in the penalty area for Southampton. And looking for Davis again, and he's got it again! And it's an own goal. I don't think it could have been stopped from going in, but it's been given. Whether in fact that was Davis's goal or whether it was his own goal is very difficult to say. Sydenham called for that on the left. Now three men in the middle if Sydenham can pinpoint his cross. This is where the danger came from in the first half. Over it comes. Davis there, number three. Magnificent goal again by Davis. And once more, United Court. And Davis comes across to congratulate Sydenham as well he might. How well John Sydenham has flighted these crosses onto Davis's head. Fearham. Fultz. Fultz coming forward. Nothing to be gained by staying back now. And still going. They're afraid Fultz. Saw. Davis trying to exploit this with Fultz out of position. And Davis has still got it. This could be his hat trick. It is. Well, did he score three goals? Or did he score four? That really is the only thing that's still in question. What is not in question is that Ron Davis was undoubtedly the outstanding figure in that match at Old Trafford yesterday. We are delighted that he's our big match guest today. With him now is Jimmy Hill. Was it three or four, Ron? With all Jim told you, I thought it was four. You did? You prepared to argue that? Definitely, yes. Yeah. Well, you have a chance in a minute when we can look at the pictures. But first of all, what I'm interested in, what was your view of Manchester United? Are they over the hill? Well, initially, sure enough, I thought they were a bad side. Up front, it just seems individuals, and at the back, they're uh, well, just wide open. There's no cohesion there whatsoever. There's been lots of talk that uh, Wilf McGuinness is harder in the training, getting them really fit. Would you say they appeared fitter than they did last season? No, not really. Um, you know, they looked rather ragged to me, but, uh, you know, when, when you're having a bad time and I think when, and things are going against you, you know, you know uh, things always look like this. Of course, it could have been that Southampton were really brilliant, <laughs> and Ron Davis in particular. Well, we played a new system, 4-4-2. Uh, and it worked really well for us. I had the two in his back, and for me it was great. 4-4-2. Four, four, just go into that a bit more for me. That four in the back line, four in the middle line, just two up front. front. That's right. And you're yeah. one of the two up front yeah. with who? With Frank Saul. Yeah. yeah. And you ha how have you played before? 4-3-3? Four, 4-3-3, three, three? Four, three, three, yeah. That's right. So you bring one person back into the middle line, and you score four goals away. That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look how it works out in pictures. Anyway, the first goal was a typical Davis header from a beautiful movement. Um, I'd love you to talk over this and show us just how it came about because it was a real old-fashioned type football goal with all its beauty. Here it comes up now. Well, this fish with the ball there, he gives a great cross-field pass to John Sidman. Sidman collects it and plays it first time past the full-back. Reaching for speed. Look at that acceleration. Yeah, yeah, fantastic acceleration, John Scott, yeah. Drags it on the inside. Lovely little yeah. movement over it. And he tracks it over his right foot. And I'm waiting there at the far post. Well, just yeah, just coming in now, that's it. Yeah, over the back of Bill Fouts there. Over he comes. And that's it. Lovely how you sit there and just say, and that's it. A thing well, of beauty like that. Uh, I think I can thank John for that goal anyway. He, he really did wonderfully well. Yeah, he done very, very well indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the second one is the disputed one. That's right. Yes. Um, this is the one that uh, you think you scored, and some of the papers this morning are giving his own goal, some are crediting it, crediting it to you. Uh, just explain what happened there. Well, the second goal was uh, another cross from John Sidman, right over the far post. I headed down, and Byrne seemed to push it, and uh, Byrne runs it, rushes in, and shoves it into, in, seems to shove it into the net. Whether or not it was in the net before, before he, he touched it. Uh, I do not know. You think it was over the line? Well, I asked the referee half-time, and he said it definitely was. He was going to give it. Well, just watch yeah. now. We can look at this in slow motion. Here comes the crossover from John Sidman. There you go, screaming in as usual. On the far post. Up in the air. Yeah, and bouncing down. Touches now, it, beats, it touches the goalkeeper. Beats him. Now, where's it going to drop? There it is. It's not in the goal yet. And there is a slight push, I think, from Frank yeah. Saul. And a diving burn, scrambling the ball into the net. What's the decision now, Ron? Well, it's all looks to we be different on film, but I still hope to claim it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is not honest. <laughs> well, there was 
there's no doubt about the goal that came after that anyway. Whether he scored three or four, I don't think is important. It's the significance of that win for Southampton going into Europe this year. But the goal after that, again, was a far post goal. That's right. Another another cross from Johnson again once again. Isn't it? He had quite a useful game yesterday. And a very good game indeed. Yeah, yeah. terrific. Here he is, out on the line, right. yeah. ready to whip the ball over. And you, as usual, are on the far post waiting to do your job of work. Here it comes. Acceleration again. Fantastic. That's lovely acceleration. And a beautiful cross. Left foot this time, right in the air. And there he comes. A real leap. A little bit of jostling going on there between you and your opponent. But there's no doubt about the ball going into the net at the end. What do you think about that pushing and shoving? Oh, you get this all the time in professional football, don't you? you, you so think you pushed him a bit there? Not really, no. I just got off, off the back of him, you know. To get it in, yeah. I'm rather interested because all those goals are scored on the far post and we've seen on the big match and we know these days so many are scored on the near post Jeff Hurst gets rather more of his headers on the near post do you always go to the far post for crosses? I always go to the far post, yes I don't like don't like going to the near post I think it's a lot more difficult to get goals on the near post You do? You I prefer do, yeah. the old-fashioned system? The old-fashioned yeah. system, far post and bang Well, just as I was talking of old-fashioned things you've got the last one by means of an old-fashioned shoulder charge which was perfectly fair we're going to see this in quick motion this time. You burst in through the middle to say, show that you can shoot on goal as well as head. And here it comes now. There's a long ball. You're racing for it. A bit of a shoulder charge. He was. I mean, that was fair? Oh, it was very fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Southampton side? Are they good enough to win Europe? I know you're in it and you've got a good first round. Well, we've had a bad start to the season. We lost our first two matches. Our biggest disappointment was losing to West Brom the first match of the season. We went to Wolverhampton and they're playing well at the moment. You know, and uh, as I said, the first two games we played a 4-2-3. And on Saturday we reverted to a 4-4-2. Is the new system going to win you a European competition? Well, I hope not. We're, we're all hoping so anyway, you know. Well, I hope it does. For your sake and the Southampton, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Well, I don't know about you, but I reckon that was uh, three goals for Ron Davies and not four. But a wonderful performance nonetheless, and we're, of course, very grateful on the big match that Ron took the trouble to drive up from Southampton to be with us on the programme. When the return match was played at White Hart Lane the following January, it was football in colour. This is Davies! And a good goal! Good running by O'Neill, he's onside. Hesloff has gone across to cover, Pardo has taken Davies. And here's Davies! What a good goal! Fane asking for it, Jansen trying to get his head in the way, Channon, Fane, that's floating in a dangerous position, and in off the post, it's a goal, Ron Davis the scorer, and as that lobbed centre came in from Terry Fane, it was Hilliard and Davis at the far post, and in it went. Bob Woodward giving it to O'Neill, O'Neill finding Fane, Fane a nice dummy, now gives it to O'Brien, towards Davis, and on the goal, he's done it, Davis has done it this time. And Brian Greenhoff, not surprisingly, coming off, he hasn't really been himself since the early knock, and Ron Davis making his debut for Manchester United, having signed from Portsmouth in midweek, a player who's managed to goal every other match during his career, which is way into the 500 games. And his debut will last for 31 minutes, the player who once scored four goals against United here five years ago. And here he is in action immediately. And a good ball too. Jerry Daly. McElroy! 